Hey, this is Sunny in the 419. We got the Clydesdale, the Budweiser Clydesdales here at the county fair here in Fremont. And uh, what a display, what a uh, hooking up eight horses. They carry, they bring 10 horses with them and two Dalmatians, uh, but only eight at a time go out. So I'm eager to see how they set them up and uh, they're gonna travel the fairgrounds. Isn't that cool? So we'll be right back with, I think his name is Aiden from uh, Budweiser. Here comes Aiden. Thanks a lot, Aiden, for helping us out. Man, what a show you guys have. Yeah. What do you love most about this? Well, my favorite part is probably, it's gotta be the people. Yeah. We, we wouldn't be coming to these places if there wasn't anybody to watch us. Right. You know, we wouldn't go to anywhere where there's no fans. So they definitely make it fun yeah. for us and we like to put on a show. You guys are like uh, the sea and the president. You know, the Clydesdales are like right up there. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, in uh, 1933, we were the first beer in wow. Washington, D.C. Really? We had a really close relationship with uh, FDR, the president at the time. And we have, I mean, we've been around for a while, so. Oh, you really know the history, don't you? Yeah, I mean. It's part of your job. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the job, yep. Oh, for sure. Now, one thing I didn't hear answer, uh, quest, an, you know, asked, but uh, I kind of was curious now, your, your, all the handlers, do you guys have a set amount of years that you have to do, or is it a one-year term, or you stay as long as they want you to? You, you I mean, you said it. They, okay. You stay as long as you want. Um, when, okay. You know, when we hire people, we are very open about you know the long hours. So you can hours make a career out of this. this could be your career. Yeah. Wow. See, I talked to the Oscar Baloney, the Baloney Wiener Truck, yep. and they said theirs is a one-year term. They always change it over. So that's neat. Yeah. This that, could be your career. That's the one thing with Budweiser is you know once you get your foot in the door with whatever position, they yeah. they open it up for you. Wow. So do you see yourself doing this? For your, as a career? A hundred percent. It's they really really take care of us and you know the perks of having the job. It, yeah. It Free beer too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, every <laughs> once in a while, you know, you gotta you gotta promote the brand. So now what are you a beer guy yourself or are you more of the seltzers? Oh uh, beer. That's becoming Yep, beer. We as a team we really love the Bud Light and Bush Light. Uh -huh. But you know, and you know, we celebrate at times, you know, last night we brought on a new team member and it was Budweiser all night. All so. right, man, that's cool. Yes, sir. Well, we're gonna, I'm gonna try and catch it out and catch the Clydesdales out in the fairgrounds for a little bit. So thanks for your time, man. Absolutely, thanks for uh, hanging out. All right. Speedy has been on the road longer than Brandon, but he's still trying to figure out how that ramp works. <laughs> so Brandon and Steve, Steve over there, he's gonna stand at also 19 hands tall and 2,100 pounds as well. So like I said, these are our two biggest horses that we travel with. We have a third back at the barn. His name is Majestic. So these three horses are the biggest we got on the team. And they all rotate through our wheel team. And they're going to be the closest to the wagon. Yes, sir. Where is back to the farm? So this week we're staying in Norwalk, Ohio. It's about 40 minutes from here. And we just kind of, for a week, we set up in somebody's barn, put all our stuff down. We out of there and then next week we go to North Carolina. So just about every week we go to someone else's barn. Last week, linen stitching. I've been having trouble talking today. So all that harness he has on, it's about 140 pounds. And what you'll see is around only Steve and Brandon, there's a piece of harness that goes around the back of their legs and it's called the Birchin. So that is attached to all of his harness, all the way up to the collar. And when the driver up top pulls on the rein, they sit back in that piece of harness and it stops the wagon completely. So those are the only two horses that have that, but that's why we put the biggest in the back so they can stop the wagon. So roughly 140 pounds. And if you're wondering, it takes about an hour each set to polish and make sure that it, all the leather is conditioned and everything so you'll have this morning we showed up and by we i mean them not me they showed up at three o'clock in the morning to make sure that all of the wagon and all of the harness was show ready for you guys so it takes about two people four four and a half hours just standing in that truck making sure that it's all polished yes sir 
the harness is actually made from a a a master harness maker so our harness that our team has was made back in 2006 so it's been a lot wiser look so there's four different things that these horses all have in common in appearance so you're going to have the four white stockings on the bottoms of their feet they're going to be all bay in color across the body you have the black mane and tail and then you have a white blaze down the center of their face and believe it or not we do have babies that don't always have those markings so those are the those are the horses that we use to train other horses so there's always when i tell you that there's jobs for everyone there are jobs for everyone whether it's training other horses training newer members of the team like the handlers things like that So I got distracted again. You guys are answering, asking all those great questions. So this gentleman right here, this is Bandit. So Bandit, Toby, RJ, Tim and Jack, Brandon and Steve, they're all hooked up. And so Beck and Bandit are actually like the wheel team. They have another special piece of harness that no other horse has. Can anybody tell what it is? I see this, I don't know what this is. It's called the Martingale. So on the front right here of, of uh, Bandit, that is called the Martingale. And the rep what that means is the end of the line. So that means I'm the front, I'm the showman, and nobody else goes in front of me. And when we get Mary off the truck, she's going to have one as well. Yes, sir. The annual budget of the program. So, you have three different farms across the U.S. that are home bases for our three traveling teams. You got ten Clydesdales on each team, seven handlers, three semis. You got to put gas on the truck. You got to feed the horses. You got to feed us. All I'm saying is, as long as I get my paycheck on Friday, it doesn't matter as long as I get the paycheck and I have a job the next week. Lots of money. What's that? I won't say because I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I were to guess, it's close to a couple million dollars a year. Just in hay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's that? Yep, we stay in hotels. They don't make us sleep in the barns or they don't make us sleep in the sleepers or anything. Yep. Yep, so all of the hay that the horses eat on the road, it's called Timothy Hay. And so Budweiser has a partnership with a company called Stand Lee, and they're based out of Idaho. So out there, they have thousands and thousands of acres of just Timothy Hay. So every Clydesdale that Budweiser owns, on the road or not, big or small, they all eat Timothy Hay from this company. So we ship it out from the farm to our farm, or and on the road wherever we may be so that these guys have a consistent diet doesn't cause any health issues yes ma'am we're back oh yeah absolutely yeah that's you know that's why we travel with 10 horses so when you when you know get the horse ready for a show and he's like i'm not leaving the stall no matter what we say fine you shut the door and you pick another one. Oh yeah. No, that and that's the other thing too is you cannot make these two thousand pound animals do anything we want them to. They've got to be willing to do it, and that's why all of us handlers have really good relationships with the horses. Everybody works with everybody, you know. But you know they're just like people. They have their off days. Yes, ma'am. How long is the front rain? Hey, Larry. How long is the front rain? The the rain that's hooked up to Beck and Bandit. How long? How long is it? Seventy to eighty feet. There you go. See, that's the first question this week. I didn't know the answer to. They stopped me on the first day, Larry. This is not good. No. 
All right. Well, this is it. This is the East Coast hitch. You got air horses hooked up. You got the Dalmatian on top. The only thing we're missing is two drivers. So right now we have two of our handlers switching into their driver's uniform. And they'll hop up on top of the wagon. We have one of our handlers, Larry, today. He's our placeholder. So he holds all of those reins in hand, make sure that they don't take off on them. But for the most part, all of these horses, they've done it for a very consistent amount of time that they know that, hey, I'm supposed to sit here until I hear that sound. Who's a mischief maker? <laughs> let, me let me name the horses again and see if you can guess. Brandon, Steve, Jack and Tim, Toby and RJ, Beck and Bandit. <laughs> yes. So Bandit's always the one that's kind of nudging and, you know, antagonizing other horses, following them around, doing little brother stuff. Yes, ma'am. Question. So most of the time, yes, all of our babies are born with the correct markings or that they show signs of when they get older that they'll grow into those markings. So not every foal looks like that when they're born. So you can, you can see it kind of on Brandon, but Brandon and Jack on their back left leg their feather white goes all the way up to their hip. So sometimes when a when a baby is born, it's it. Believe it or not, it's her first day. Yes, ma'am. We welcomed her to the barn yesterday with confetti cannons and everything and all that fun stuff. And she bought us dinner last night. <laughs> if you know, if you senior citizens want to work 90 hours a week, please be my guest. <laughs> yes, sir. So there's a little bit of science that goes into that, but how we choose our studs and mares that we use for breeding is based off of their genetics now. Before, it was kind of like, you know, you kind of guessed. But now we have the technology to test genes and see, you know, sometimes they skip generations and colors and sizes. So we have our certain studs and our certain breeding mares for about a couple years. And then after that, we kind of integrate different horses. Yes, sir. Are the dogs always girls? And the answer is no, but our team, we do have both girls. So Mary and Lily are actually sisters. So same mother, different litter. They're about a year apart from each other. So they get along just fine, and they also fight like sisters. Does anybody know why we have Dalmatians? Very, very similar, yes. So the Dalmatians are, you know, the relationship with the fire department goes all the way back to the 1700s. And so what their their job was to run alongside the horses, make sure that they were running really fast, you know, get there on time to the fire. And then when the firefighters were fighting the fire, they were also guarding the wagon and making sure no one messed with the horses. So when we started delivering beer in 1933, by the eight horse, formation in the wagon it took about 20 years to figure out that you know we need somebody to make sure that nobody steals any Budweiser and that nobody messes with the horses and so we saw the fire department as a huge opportunity so in the 1950s is when the Dalmatian was considered the mascot for the wagon and they did exactly what they did for the fire department they just beat us to the punch that's it what's up buddy So how do they walk? It's actually cool because these all all these horses when they get going, they'll see their feathers and they're all gonna take like really small steps and you're gonna see their feathers flying everywhere. But once they get going, they all they all stomp. 
They stop all in rhythm. You're welcome. Question is, yes, sir, all the way in the back. So all the gear on the horses. So on top of the wagon today is going to be Dave and Jason. They're going to be our two drivers for the day. And so those green and white uniforms, those colors represent the Bush family's barn colors. So way, way, way back in the day when they just owned six to ten Clydesdales, their barn colors were white and green. And then we put that blue gold stripe down the side of the pants to make them look good. So to this day, we still represent those colors and it's integrated into those uniforms. That's the fun part. We just wait for the thumbs up to go. So while these guys are making their rounds across the fairgrounds, I, Aiden, will be standing here just hanging out, listening to music, drinking lots of water because I've been talking the whole time. But if you guys have any questions or want to hang out with me, feel free. I'll be standing here for about an hour or so. And then when they come back, I'll be right here. So feel free to come hang out with me. I'll make some new friends. Yes, ma'am. That's a... Yes, they are. Yep, that... Yeah, around the fairgrounds. Everybody, give a huge round of applause for the world renowned Budweiser Clydesdales. Jesse! 